what's it like hanging out with my barred parakeets or lineolated parakeets or linies for short. Hi, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrot Bliss Bond. Please be sure to get your copy on Amazon. So you have your handbook to providing a quality life for your parrots so you can then have quantities of bliss. These are my linnies. Look at that. Isn't that terrible? They, their wings were chopped when I got them and I'm surprised it's taken a while and they, they're, oh, maybe they're starting to finally grow back. This here is Ari and that's pumpkin. And right now, hanging out with them is just like this. It's like they're just being all mellow. It's early evening, the sun has set, so they are already sort of in their mellowing out, going to sleep mode. But I'm hoping that you can hear them because, oh, did you hear that? Because they're so cute. Now, if I take them uh, to bed, like if I go sit on my bed to watch something, <laughs> nibbling on my ear, there's nothing there. Yeah, it's just an ear. Uh, they will burrow, like if I had something right here, they would just burrow under it and be all cozy. So I have to be careful because instead they'll go in the pillow and then I can't forget them or I can't like lean back and squish them. I gotta be really careful because they like to go in those little nooks and crannies. Can you guys, oh, thank you, you preening me. Oh, look at that, I'm getting loved. Uh, my ear's getting loved too. Hey, sweetie, you can leave my ear alone. Oh, you guys are so sweet. I love these guys. Of course, I love all of my 22 species, but I love these guys. They're just, you could see it, they're so cute. They're not real squawky. They're super friendly. Hanging out with them is a lot of fun. Now, like a lot of other parrots, often the first 10 or 15 minutes of hanging out with them means, you know, when they're young getting nibbled, like my ears getting nibbled on a little, or them kind of going crazy. They're like children. And at first they're just so excited to be with us. And so once 10 or 15 minutes go by, then, you know, they kind of are like just enjoying whatever's going on and they're not necessarily so <laughs> excited and crazy about your ears. Look at that. It's an ear day. Hi, sweetie. Okay. Yes, yes. So that's just spending a little time hanging out with my gorgeous little linnies. I just think they're awesome. I wish I could put a plant in their cage, but if you've ever tried putting a non-toxic plant in a parrot's cage, because first you have to make sure that it's not toxic, you will find that they will give it a very good trimming. Like a goat, they'll like leave nothing but dirt. So you have to be able to do something like put the plant outside their cage and let the leaves sort of touch the cage and they'll nibble at the leaves but these guys, you know, they're just so cute and they like hiding so much. I really like, for example, they have a coconut. I like having places where they can go and kind of do their burrowing or go and, you know, feel all comfy and cozy and quiet and, you know, like they're nice and safe. You're so beautiful, aren't you, Ari? Yes. What a sweet girl. Oh, look at that. They're beaking each other. Look at that. So there's my linnies, just hanging out with them. I would watch TV with them, but I have to go feed the baby parrotlets. All right, thank you for joining me in this blissful, relaxing evening of hanging out with the linnies. They're so cute. Do you hear that little sound? I love the way they sound. See you next time.